Hello and welcome back to another lecture. To start learning about cloud computing, I recommend that you take these two courses on Udemy. These are the same courses I took when I started learning about cloud computing a couple of years ago. These courses will help build your foundational knowledge and teach you about AWS services. So to buy these courses, the first thing I want you to do is go on udemy.com. Once you are on udemy.com, the first course I want you to buy and complete is called Ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. The course is made by Stefan Marek. So in this search bar, I'm going to look for that course. I'll type Ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Once you type it in the search bar, I'm going to select this one by Stefan Marek right here. I'll select it. And this is the course. You can see it here. It is Ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Don't worry about the year. Usually he updates the course. So whatever year you are watching this video, that's what you are going to see here. The main thing you should be concerned about is the name. So it should be Ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. The course is made by Stefan Marek, so you'll see his name up here, Stefan Marek. And this is the first course I want you to buy. To buy this course, you have to sign up for an account if you don't have an account. And if you have an account, you can log in. And once you have signed up for an account or login, you can buy this course. It is a one-time payment, and currently the price of this course is $18.99. To buy this course, all you have to do is click buy this course here and it will walk you through the steps. I am going to leave the link to this course in this video's description. Once you buy this course, I want you to take your time to complete this course and make sure you take notes. Another thing I want to show you is you can find more information about this course down here. So if you come under course content, you can see that this course has 23 sections and 263 lectures. The course is 14 hours, 19 minutes long. And you can also see all the topics covered in this class down here. So you can click on this drop down for each section to see the topics that are covered in each section. So this is this course. Make sure you go through everything. Make sure you take notes. And once you have completed this course, the next thing I want you to do is register for your AWS certification exam. I will show you how to register for an AWS certification exam in the next video. So this is the first course I want you to take. Then once you have completed this course and take your AWS certification exam, the second course that I want you to take is called Ultimate AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. That course is also made by Stefan Marek. So in this search box up here, I'm going to type it in there. So once you've typed it in there, you will see your search result here. Make sure you select the one by Stephen Marek. I'm going to select it. And it is going to bring you to this course. This is the second course that I want you to take. And again, just like you did with the Cloud Practitioner course, the first thing you have to do is log in into your account. Then once you've logged in, you can buy this course by clicking Buy This Course button. Currently, this course is $13.99. And if you need more information about this course, you can find all the information here. If I scroll down, you can see under the course content that this course has 31 sections. There are 373 lectures. It is 26 hours and 54 minutes long. So this course will walk you through everything you need to know about Solutions Architect. And for each section, you can see each section here. And... If you click on this drop down, you will see each section and the topics that are covered under each section. So this is the course. The second course that I want you to take, it is the Ultimate AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. The year will be whatever year you are watching this video. You always update this course every year. So this is the second course I want you to take. Once you've completed this course, again, you can register for your AWS certification exam and take your exam. These are the two courses I recommend that you start with to start learning about the cloud and AWS. 
Then once you have complete both costs, the next thing we will do is open a new AWS account to start working on some hands-on projects. Please leave your comments on this video if you have any questions. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.